Hi there and welcome to 272analytics.com's tutorial on how to create a scatter plot in Minitab. In order to do so, I've gone ahead and created an artificial data set with 200 observations split into two groups. I have exactly one uh, independent variable here, x, and I have my dependent variable y. And what I would like to do now is graph the relationship between these variables. So why don't we come over here to graph scatter plot and let's start with just a simple scatter plot. And what Minitab is going to ask you is to specify your uh, y variable and your x variable. So your y variable to begin with here is of course your dependent variable. So we'll just click on it until it appears here. And now you're going to enter your independent variables. In this case we just have one. And that's really the simple, simple approach there. I could go ahead and label it and do some options, but I'm going to do that with a, another scatter plot in a few minutes here. Let's just go ahead and generate what we have. So we see our scatter plot here. We don't see any apparent relationship between the X and Y variables. So let's say that we actually do want to know uh, just from the graph if there is such a relationship. We can do that in Minitab. We're going to go into scatter plot again. And this time let's impose a regression line. Okay. We'll go in here. We'll click OK and we'll follow the same procedure to make sure that the data are where they're supposed to be. And if we go here to data view, you'll see that because we picked the regression line as an option, we've already specified that it's a linear model and we want to fit the intercept. So what does that look like? Well, here's the, here's, here's the scatter plot here. And if you hover over it here with your mouse, you'll see that the R squared is zero, that there, there's no fit here. So without even having to carry out the linear regression procedure in Minitab. You can just generate the scatter plot, impose the regression line, put your mouse over it, and you see that, okay, there's no fit whatsoever um, between these variables. However, because I created this data set, I actually know that there is a fit. It just doesn't emerge until we sort into groups. So in order to demonstrate this feature, let's go here into with regression and groups as our uh, option here in Minitab. We'll click OK. And let's follow that same procedure again for inputting y and x. Our only difference is we're going to go over here to categorical variables and input group. Remember, we have two groups here. Now, let's go in and look at the options again one more time. I do want to show you that you can, for example, create grid lines here. You can place reference lines if you would like, so you have some control. We have labels here, so we could go ahead and, you know, put whatever we like. This is not going to be very informative but uh, it's just going to show you what it looks like when it comes up on the graphic. In data view, once again, we have our regression specified as linear and we're doing our fit intercept. And we have some other, we have some other options here. We could create a further subset if we really wanted to, although since I've already done that with groups, we don't need to. Let's click OK and see what that looks like. OK, now we see that there is a pattern in these data. In fact, the pattern emerges if you differentiate between the two groups. So Minitab has very usefully created these, uh, these dots here in different colors. And each, each group here has its own regression line. So if we hang over here, for example, we can learn a couple of things. We can see that for group one, which you can see up here, we learned that there is a significant and positive relationship between X and Y. Uh, we see what the R squared is. And we see the same thing here for group two. So all we have to do is just kind of hover over and um, we can learn what the regression fit is in that scatter plot. I hope this tutorial was helpful to you and I would like to invite you to visit 272analytics.com for access to all our free statistics tutorials in Stata, SPSS, R, eViews, and Minitab. Here at 272analytics.com, we provide data consulting primarily to graduate students. Therefore, we work very closely with you in order to perfect your Chapter 3 and Chapter 4. That means helping you design surveys, uh, getting your data input, assisting you with fashioning appropriate research questions and hypotheses, uh, getting your data, extracting them, transforming them, cleaning them, uh, putting them through analysis, uh, interpreting them, explaining them to you so that at the end of the day, you know exactly what story your data tell, why they matter, what they mean in a manner that lets you write a, a perfect chapter four uh, following a perfect chapter three and lets you defend your dissertation or thesis with complete confidence. 
We provide ethical consulting. It's not a writing service, so you will be responsible for taking our blueprint, our assistance, our consulting, and transforming them into an appropriate academic project for yourself. I'd also like to remind you that we provide the same services to undergraduate students who are working with quantitatively oriented assignments. Thank you so much for listening and have a great day.